Very often, you'll find localization in all sorts of media, such as rewritten dialogue, character accents, Who's the guy? Who's the guy? And in China's case, making black people very tiny. And to complement these observations, there is usually a lot of speculation as to why these changes were made. Such as is with the case of Spyro 2. Oh, kind of sweet. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Which I'm going to explain as to why it was changed from Ripto's Rage to Gateway to Glimmer in Europe. The reason I specifically want to talk about this is because A, I absolutely love Spyro, and B, my inner priggish nerd has become fed up with people's incorrect theories. I've heard many reasons that people have made up for the name change, such as They changed it because Ripto's Rage is too scary of a name. Or Actually, they changed it because of 9-11 and Ripto's Rage sounds like a terrorist attack. The latter being utter nonsense considering when the game came out. This isn't Cartoon Network, we're not getting things years later than the US. Or maybe Ted Price had a time machine. What? Grandpa? No! I'm you! You're me? Yes! From the future! And I'm here to tell you to change the name of the European version because of a terrorist attack. But I digress. The real reason is actually a lot more simple. Translation. My friends from the ISGP community used to have a website called Slidespin TV. That had an explanation for this change in an article, but I couldn't find it even on the archives. That was until I found out they had reposted it on their newer and almost as abandoned SpyroSpeedruns.com website. The article had an interview with Ted Price in which he said, Ripto's Rage didn't translate well into other languages, so Gateway to Glimmer was the best and most translatable option. Title changes for European languages is more common than you think. Uh, remember Arthur in the Invisibles? Uh, me neither. But I know in Spain it's called Arthur y los Minimoys, probably because in Spanish they don't use adjectives as fake nouns in the same way as we do in English. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to be a slight hypocrite and make a speculation with no evidence, but I can imagine that it was Gateway to Glimmer to keep the alliterative name style that the US version has. And I would also like to close off with a fun fact. In the Italian version, the dialogue in Zephyr about the Dang Cannon has the word Dang in it because the translators thought Dang was the name of the type of cannon and not English slang. Hey?